Uh, today, today we're going to do a little video on setting up uh, a panel a JMRI using Layout Editor and using the uh, connections with my layout involving uh, all the necessary tools to build up, start building a panel. This will be a two-part video, so please, uh, you'll have to catch part one and two uh, for it all to come together. Thanks, and hope you enjoy it. This video today on the Grande Pacific Model Railroad, uh, by request from a number of people, we're going to try to show you how to get into and start setting up a panel. Um, this box you see on the screen, I opened up Panel Pro, and uh, you can see across the middle that it says NCE Area Serial, serial Port Using CO, COM3. Uh, there's a reason for that, and I only bring it up is in this case, the system's not on. But uh, you need to get rid of that error before you start. Uh, no matter what your situation is, I'm not going to go into making JMRI work from scratch in this video. So this is strictly about trying to get you into the basics of layout editor. So that, that's got to disappear first. And we can pretty much make that go away pretty quick. Uh, by turning on the system. So now we have a connection to the NCE command station. We have on this layout all of the switches on the main line have decoders on them. They're all numbered, they're all hooked up. We have all of the blocks on the main line been blocked and they've all got uh, BD20s connected to uh, detection for detection. The BD20s are connected to AIU01s that are connected to the cab bus that come back to the NCE panel. Uh, now, what I'm going to do first is go right here, panel. We're going to come back to this. I'm going to open up a panel. This is the current version of my railroad. And I'll open it up. Two reasons. Alright. Now, we're going to have to back up here. This is a big screen on this computer. So all I'm going to do is just pick a part out here. Now, when it opened up, last time I saved it, <coughs> It was in the edit mode. First thing I'm going to do, I have a fast clock, a little bit, there's several different versions of fast clocks. Uh, this one you can right click on it, uh, you can drag, excuse me, left click and you can drag it, put it somewhere. We're just going to close it for that right now. This is irrelevant. But you can get any kind of fast clock. We're going to go up here and we're going to fill the screen up. Now, when I close this the last time, it was in the edit mode. So what I want to do right here is up here under options I want to go and click off edit so this is what the Grande Pacific uh, layout editor looks like the whole panel. And I said this is a big computer screen now there's a fast clock also on the bottom screen and all the stuff on the bottom is staging uh, that's all controlled with remote switches. So everything on the main line has a control switch so you can sit here with the dispatcher and do it. Um, mm, wait a minute. Oh, I know what. I, you're seeing a lot of red. On the screen and now you don't see the red, and that was because I didn't have the power to the wall warts on. Remember this layout editor gets its information from various devices that feed through the 
NCE command bus, the serial, your cab bus. They're all connected to the cab bus. So if the cab bus doesn't have power in a particular area, it's not going to read what's going on there. That's why everything was red. On a, on, and this is a setting you make. You make your choices of the colors of the track segments. Mine is if it's unoccupied, it's blue. If it's occupied, it's red. And uh, they give you a third choice for something else. And I choose like gray, but I haven't seen if it show up. So you can see right there in front of you that uh, uh, the that happens to be the station track at Apex, and there's cars sitting on that track. Uh, so they trip the uh, sensor. That's also a unique place because those two switches are not in separate blocks. They're all in part of that one big block and you can do that. We'll get into a little bit of that later. So this is what the Grande Pacific looks like. Uh, it all works uh, currently and uh, we're now trying to develop an overall scheme of control. So in my case, I'm going to control, close this. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go uh, and open up a new panel. And here's the key that you need to look on. You click on new panel. And you have three choices. Panel editor, control panel editor, or layout editor. Now, I'm familiar with layout editor. I know panel editor, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, panel editor is the original. Uh, there are certain things you cannot do in panel editor. One of them is you cannot run operations. Uh, pro the operations part of the program, what they call live. You can't you can't trace the, the engine won't follow around and interact to where the train is actually with the program with panel editor. So you know whatever way you want to go, but I, I'm gonna have to recommend either the control panel editor or layout editor. I've never used control panel editor, that is later type installation and then layout editor. But let's just say you select Layout Editor and you've got this screen in front of you now. It's a big blank screen, sorry about this. Uh, got to fan out. And you're going to see this part up here at the top. And the first thing I would do is go up here and name it. You want to do File save panel and I'm going to call this DEMO1 okay so that's our, our play panel I don't want to go messing up with the other ones so we'll give another one of the things you need to start with here so we've saved it the part up at the top is how you get everything in uh but the first area you want to go to when you create the panel is over here. Options. We want to be in the edit mode right here, edit. So you don't see the grids yet, but you're going to go show grids in each in edit mode. We're going to do that, so we're going to click that one. Snap to grid, yes. That'll keep all your lines straight. Snap to grid when moving, yes. Uh, show cross scroll bars. Uh, yeah. Well, both scroll bars, yeah. And you can have icon tooltips edit mode only. That's that's probably the best way to go. Uh, enable and let's explode. You're gonna have to read this one. Uh, smoother lines. Uh, I don't think you'll have any problem here if you follow some of the rules. You can, this is another one you can play with as you go along with. 
you definitely want to have these all checked in here all the way from the top when you're in the edit mode and then you close that and you save the panel again it's you know it already exists so we're going to go and overwrite it so now we have a panel with all these little neat grids on it uh, yes you can go in here and you can import they have a part that tells you how to make this a US and S board that's not my thing uh, but there are tremendous a lot of people out there that do it it's be basically what you're going to do is put wallpaper on this and then you're going to use if the wallpaper's got the switches in it and you're going to have to iron I never did it so I'll just tell you that it's available you can go US and S boards now one thing you want to look at here is I'm gonna, I opened up panel pro roster again you want to look under tools tables and we're going to talk about sensors now my layout already has all these in it uh, this is uh, let's see where we're at here we're at 784 okay so that's number one get up here so you can see it okay alright 784 NCE recommends it AIOU01 and you have to give it a cab number be number 50 okay so you go through and follow the instructions that, that comes with the AIOU1 and you make it cab 50 when you make it cab 50 terminal 1 is number 784 the next AIOU you put in cab 51 you add 16 so terminal 1 is number 800 the reason for the 16 is that's how computers work <laughs> I'm not the technical person here but if it's going to be 16 32 64 128 so on okay uh, but that's how the setup there's only 14 terminals on an AIOU 01 but if you have two of them the first number on the 50 number cab is 784 you're going to number the next cab as set, uh, 51 the first number is 800 so you've set up okay we got to back up here you have gone out and you have installed all of your cabs I mean your detection devices BD20s and this as you see up at the top I make a list this goes into my track wiring book and this is AIU OU01 cab 51 and it starts with 800 801 802 there's the name of the block or the detection area and it's a single there's nothing doubled over on it uh, that has to do with the I'm sorry that has to do how I ran the wire it was run by itself when I use you see the ones that say cable when I use a cat5 cable then that means all those are in that that one cable so because you see the four of them so you in a cat5 cable you get four pairs of two wires so you can hook up four of them so that just tells me how I ran it when I go looking for all this stuff later on when it don't work and what wires are connected to each one uh, the white always gets hooked to the ground so this is one AIOU01 so those names are critically important everything you do has got to be exact in the naming so to get that to show up here because you're going to open that tools center table and it's going to be blank you're going to go down here to the bottom and you're going to click on add and then at the top you get this box shows up 
and it's a system a a and C and just to stop right here and tell you all this for sure different names different nomenclatures but all this is available with Digitrax uh, so if somebody's watching this and say oh, but I got a Digitrax system I can't give you the, the show me how thing but you can do the exact same thing with a Digitrax system it has it all and it's actually got one more piece that we don't have it's got the cable now Digitrax works on what's called LocoNet it's a network bus you kind of don't need to have to worry about it. just follow their rules and um, and same you'll end up with the same results Digitrax comes with a signal control devices NCE did not make them and there's probably a pretty good reason why they didn't because actually what's available in the open market is a lot fancier and a lot better so that's another story for another day but uh, we're going to take care of this part first